So good morning all, welcome back. I've decided today to do things a little bit different. I'm gonna leave the deer be today. Had a nice day with them yesterday. So I'm gonna head off for some bird species. There's uh, Merlin and Hen Harrier, seen quite frequently up here. It's a bit of a stab in the dark, but um, certainly gonna give it a go. This is a great area for, for birds of prey. There's a ravine there with a lot of woodland in, lots of posts and, and perches for them to sit on. So I'm gonna go head down there and have a look. Plus there's a lots of red wing and field fare that are coming in on their um, on migration, winter migration here, autumn winter migration. So I'm hoping to get set up on some berry trees and, and do a bit of um, photography there, maybe some red wing and field fare shots because I'm such a cracking bird and this is a, an awesome little spot for them. Um, and the deer are here. So at the moment this is my view. So the deer are over this side and I'm heading down into the valley here um, and have a little look and see what's about really so I spend three four hours there got some lunch soup sandwiches yeah happy days bag hide I think today um, wrap up warm because it's pretty cold so uh, yeah gonna get the gear out and get on with it well so I'm just on the uh, outskirts of the wood at the moment and uh, although I'm after birds today um, the deer are over on the far side um, obviously the will see me coming in if I just walk normally and you know not quiet so uh, I've tucked myself into the forest get into position and then you know if the birds don't turn up then there's always more chance of seeing some deer and getting some footage but uh, you've got to be pretty quiet again as always uh, oh there's a red wing going over the top so uh, yeah get in there get set up get comfy stay where I am and uh, who knows what will turn up. Today's one of those days where it just could be birds or deer, but uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So just taking a quick rest, just come up this, um, quite large ravine to get to the top. The deer at the moment are kind of over the back of here and I want to shoot up there towards some trees. Get set up, put the bag hide on, get everything sorted and then hoping later on the deer will move down these huge deer tracks here and come up the other side and uh, bearing in mind when the sun's behind me as the sun swings around I'm in a good position there, obviously not to get too much of a silhouette, although that is quite nice. But um, yeah, I've noticed some chaps are over the back there, so I uh, hope they have some luck. If they don't, they might push them towards me, but uh, that's not really what we want. But um, yeah, just going to get up the top, get set up. I'm sweating like mad. Um, once I get my gear sorted, then I can just sit, chill, and uh, yeah, see what happens. You never know what's going to turn up. So, uh, chance of a hen harrier. Merlin, short, short eared owl, who knows, but uh, yeah, get up there, get set up, get comfy, and then uh, just settle in for the day. So, while setting up here, I can hear her. Mewing a bump buzzard already. It's always good when you're setting up is to uh, get everything you're going to need batteries memory cards lunch waterproof uh, lens cover body cover 
just with you, hide your bag out of the way. I've tucked in against this um, old ratty hawthorn here, just to give me a bit of protection because the wind is coming across there. It's um, easterly, um, just to give me a bit of protection from the lens barrel wobbling around a bit. Um, but yeah, get it all ready to go. Get what you need with you, tuck your bag away. I can just hear stag off the back, so I better get ready. So I've just had a hind come off the uh, the back over there and uh, a small pricket stag that was running across the hill away from here. So I'm thinking that the, the big guy and uh, his harem of females are probably on the top of that hill. And I'm hoping later on, as they move around in the daytime, they'll come back over here. The wind's blowing right this way there on top of the hill it's kind of probably quite windy and uncomfortable up there for them at the moment so if they move down this side of the hill there's a lovely grassed area and they love the grass they could just tuck themselves in that bank i'll be smack bang right on them um, but uh that's what i think they'd do but that's not necessarily what they're going to do but uh, having been watching taking pictures of deer for over 20 years now it's um do pick up a few good little feelings now and then and always pay off but uh, that's my uh, that's my betting anyway so so far pretty quiet um, got a young stag over on the bank over there there's a, a young hind up the top, and we've had a kestrel in hunting up and down the ravine. Um, but really, that's about it so far. Um, been really quiet. Stags have been quiet too. I haven't really heard them at all. Um, so I don't know really. But my intention today was just to go for birds anyway. So um, it's just a bit thin on the ground. I think it's about 365 square miles, the Exmoor National Park, so you know, it's, it's a lot of ground to cover. But uh, yeah, I checked out the trees in the bottom for the berries, and there's very few berries around, so I'm thinking the thrushes doesn't seem a great deal of um, activity there either, so I think I'll just bide my time, see it out here, and uh, might get rewarded with a, with a raptor going through. Um, but it's pleasant, it's a pleasant afternoon, sun's out, bit of a breeze. Yeah, the worst place in the world to be, so just take it in, enjoy it, and see what the, uh, the day brings. Well, the big guys just turned up over to my left, um, making a right racket, moving his right across. And hopefully he'll flush the uh, cricket come this way. And maybe they'll move. Oh, hopefully they'll move too so far up. See the big guy there. Hinds are coming this way, so generally the stags will follow, obviously, follow the women. He's looking one way, and here he's coming this way. Right, let's get ready. Oh yeah, the big guy's coming right towards me. Great stuff. Right. Eat picnic, get in position. Oh, such a fine stag. Right. Oh, it's a beauty.
So currently the stag has only got one hind and he's scenting the ground quite heavily uh, around where she is. So she could be coming to season quite soon. He's just shunting her on this direction. So I'm hoping they're going to come down this path. Um, you can just about see, you can see in the distance there. There's a sheep bar over there. And there's a path just in front of me. I'm hoping they're going to come down this way. There goes the big guy. Lovely. Anyway, back to him. Pretty much non-stop action for the last half an hour. Um, he's been chasing his uh, harem around all over the shop now. So he's now got five, which isn't really an awful lot for a stag of his size, but there is a chance that he could have lost a lot of them to a rival male or maybe somebody walking or something stalking may have flushed them and they've gone off in directions, but he's certainly making him, you know, himself known really really well he's got a hell of a throat on him he's calling away sniffing the ground chasing them he's chasing prickets off left right and chelsea it's uh yeah they're just down in the dip now they can't really see them but um yeah then the lee of the hill so they're away from the weather but um i'm hoping maybe they'll push over this way a little bit later but no guarantees they're uh, probably going to stick where they are. I've got another couple of hours and I'm done, so. Been great, though. It's been great.
bikes are all around and they're uh, giving it some welling. Um, right in close here, and the stags are deep stags moving. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.